the installed HR schema. All relational objects within a database are owned by a named user. The organization of these objects for the user is called a schema. An HR user account was created when you installed the Oracle database. This HR user account owns all objects in the HR schema. The installed HR schema contains seven tables, one view and two procedures. The main tables used for this course are the employees and jobs tables. These objects will be exposed using SQL Developer. The installed HR account is locked and has limited privileges by default. The next section shows you how to unlock the account and increase its privileges. The improved privilege level is required for the creation of more advanced objects such as packages and triggers. The account privileges are changed using the SQL command line tool. The tool is accessed from the installed Oracle folder as follows. Click on the Start button. Then go to All Programs. Then scroll to the Oracle folder. Expand it and click on the dark SQL icon. The SQL command line tool interface appears. Connect as the system user. Then press Enter. Then enter the system password which you specified during installation. Then press Enter. Note that you will have to specify a password for the HR account. Issue the following statement to unlock the HR account. Alter user HR identified by. Specify a password. Account unlock. Then press Enter. Now that the account is unlocked, you can grant it the DBA role with the following statement. Grant DBA to HR. Press Enter. The next section shows you how to download SQL Developer. SQL Developer is used to edit and execute SQL and PLSQL code. Navigate to www.oracle.com forward slash downloads. On the SQL Developer download page, accept the license agreement and select the appropriate download link for your computer. The Oracle login screen appears. Enter your account details. Oracle Developer will start downloading when your account is authenticated. Save the downloaded file on your desktop. The next section shows you how to connect to Oracle with SQL Developer. Open the downloaded SQL Developer folder. Then open the second SQL Developer folder. Double click the SQL Developer executable icon. The SQL Developer application is launched. Be patient as this might take some time. Once the SQL Developer interface opens, click the plus sign above the connection menu. On the connection screen, enter XC for the connection name. Then enter HR for username and enter the HR password specified when you unlocked the account. Test the connection. Once this succeeds, click the Connect button. You are now connected to the HR schema of the installed Oracle database. An SQL worksheet is immediately presented. You can explore the HR schema objects by expanding the branches on the connection tree. You can view the contents of a table by double-clicking it. 
when you double click the employees table a new window appears. You can now explore the data, constraints and triggers on the table. Close the Table Explorer and return to the SQL worksheet. You can type SQL and PLSQL statements on the worksheet. For instance the following query returns all rows from the employees table. Notice that SQL Developer provides code suggestions to reduce syntax errors. The results of the query are presented in the Results window. Finally, you need to switch on the DBMS output window in order to return text from PLSQL code. It is switched on by expanding the view menu. Then click on the DBMS output menu option. Once the DBMS output window is displayed click on the plus sign to connect it to the database. Select the XC connection. The functionality of the DBMS output window can be tested by executing a simple hello world block. Hello world is printed in the window. Please ignore the syntax of the code. The meaning of the code will be explained in subsequent chapters.